Welcome. So let's talk about parameters. What are they and how can we use them? So a lot of times I'll see uh, some of our clients that they'll, they'll use these parameters, which is going to help affect what data you're actually going to load into your model. As you're developing things, let's say you got 100 million rows of data, but as you're developing things in the Power BI desktop, you don't want to look at all that data at once because it's just going to slow down performance. But once you pull it into the service, then you might have an idea of here's how much data I want to be looking at. Here's what I want to look at. So let's take a look at how we can use parameters to help us get around that situation. So I have a report here, um, and this report just has 60,000 uh, current rows to it. But if I wanted to put a parameter on it to, to signify what amount of data do I actually want to load, where I would do that is I'd go into the Power Query Editor. So I'm just going to click on Transform Data here. And if you want to do parameters, the first thing you have to remember is you have to go to your View ribbon and click on Parameters, Always Allow. So I've got that turned on. Uh, then I'm going to go back to my Home ribbon. I'm going to go to Manage Parameters. And where I want to do this at is I want to do it, let's say we're going to put this on, and you can put this on any column. It's kind of like you're, you're filtering down your data. But let's say we're going to put it on our order date. Uh, so currently, if we take a look at order date, we have a lot of different order dates. But let's say that I want to put in a parameter for this. So I'm going to say, let's go with a new parameter. And this is going to be, um, I'm going to call this the date parameter. Make it pretty simple and easy. And because this column is currently a date time column, it's a date time column, what I'm going to have to make sure I do is for the type of parameter, I have to list what kind of data type I'm going to be using. So this is going to be a date time. Suggested value is any value, which will be fine with my, my end user. Uh, and for the current value, I'm just going to put in 1 uh, to 2010. We'll just put that for now. Again, nothing is going to happen at this point. So again, I'm looking at all my data. However, if I come over and I'm going to do an easy fix here, I'm going to do the go to column. This was I'm looking for my order date column, which is right here. And on my order date column, if I put on a filter, I know that we can always put on regular date time filters. But this time, instead of doing one of the pre-made ones, I'm going to go to custom. And as it pulls up, I'm going to say I want all the data that is before a certain time. Now normally you could you would put your hard coded of what date do you want this to be, uh, but the problem that's going to be is every time that someone wants to make this change, they would have to go into the Power Query editor to make this. Um, but once we're out on the service, we don't have that option anymore, right? So you would have to go to the service and go, you know what? I actually want to see all the dates after this time, or now I want to see uh, I want to make the date a little bit farther in the future and see just the last three months or so whatever it might be. Well, we want the end user not to have to download the file, make the changes here in the Power Query Editor. Instead, we're just going to have a parameter there for them and saying, hey, pick what you want. What, do, what dates do you want here? So let's take a look at how we're going to do it. So I'm going to go is before, and rather putting in a value here, I'm going to put in a parameter. So I'm going to click on parameter, and I'm going to go date parameter, and I'm going to click on OK. And now at this point, this is going to filter out. Look what I said. I wanted all the data that was before January 2nd, 2010, which currently says, hey, this table is currently empty, which is, which is OK, because there is no data before January 2nd of 2010. So I'm going to click Close and Apply. And again, you can change this. So if you're going like, oh, I'm not really sure if this is going to work out, Matt, uh, let's change it to January 2nd. Uh, let's go with 2012. And so I'm going to go here, we're going to click enter, and we're going to go back to our internet sales table. Okay, and so we're seeing data here. So the parameter is working. So I'm going to go to close and apply. As I go to close and apply here, I already had a visual here of how many transactions I had. And that was that 60,000 number that you just saw. That was how many transactions were, again, for that whole table. But now because we filtered it down, we're now only seeing a certain amount of data. We're only loading that data beforehand. Now, if you want to, in the desktop, change that parameter, you go to Transform Data. You're going to click on Edit Parameters. And now you can put in a new day. So now let's say I wanted it to be December 12th of 2012. I click on OK. We click on Apply Changes. And then this will now change the data that has been loaded in my fact table. And so as it's working here, we should see a little bit larger number here rather than the 2200 number. 
So again, in the desktop, is it fairly easy to go back to the Power Query Editor and make the changes of what you're trying to filter your data down or how much data you're loading? Of course it is. However, when you go to the service, you don't have that luxury. So let's look at that. So we got a much larger number. I'm gonna publish this out to the service. I'm gonna click on save. I'll give it a, a little quick, we'll go with parameters here. We'll click save. And once it saves, I'm now just gonna publish out and we're gonna publish this to my workspace just to make this quick. So as it's publishing out to my workspace, it's publishing the file and the data with the parameters already loaded into it. So we're only gonna have the 52-ish hundred rows of data. So I'm gonna open that report up on Power BI service. And as it comes up, what we'll see is we see our total amount of transactions. So that's exactly how many rows, because my measure was just to count rows of how many, uh, count rows of that table. So if I go to the actual data source, so I just expanded down my workspace. I'm gonna to go to the data set, which uh, is called parameters. And I'm gonna to go to the settings of it. And notice here, we have a parameters option. So with the parameters option here, if I click on the down arrow, I now can change my parameter right in the service. So when I change that parameter and I click on refresh the data, it's only going to bring in that amount of data into it. Uh, so parameters are a nice thing. It's great for your end users. They don't have to ask you to go and change things to republish it out to the service. They can make that change right here. So I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video on parameters. This is a basic start to it. Uh, I hope to follow up with another parameter issue of maybe saying a data source. Do you want the data source parameter? Do you want it to come from your test environment, from your development environment, from your Q&A environment? Because maybe you have all these different tables of data that they're all the same, but each one has a different amount of data. So we want to point to a different location. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one.